Hello, hello, bring it in, bring it in. <clears throat> let's fill up the room, let's get rocking, let's get rolling. I know you, you're strong with mindset, let's kill it. I'm gonna give you some things, some tips that are gonna help you crush it. So let's, let's bring it, <clears throat> share the feed, let's give it a minute for everybody else to join, and we'll get rolling. Let's see, what, what are you struggling with? Comment below, post a comment, let me, tell me what, what's, uh, what's the obstacle, what's going on? How come you're not achieving that goal? How come you're losing motivation? <clears throat> Vero Coronado, welcome. Let's see, let me know what your biggest problems are so I can help you with that. I'm checking out the Facebook posts. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, where am I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So some of you said you're starting to lose faith, starting to lose motivation. Some of you said you are motivated sometimes, sometimes you lose it. Some of you have the hardest time with the food. Some of you, let's see, during the workouts, you, you tend to slow down when you're getting tired. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little sick. <clears throat> I'm here in my home office trying to recover because, man, I did a, I did a pull-up challenge earlier today. It was... Um, I did 100 pull-ups, and every time I had to stop, I would do 10 burpee uh, box jumps. It was brutal. It took me 19 minutes, and it was. It didn't help that I was really sore from the day before. Okay, you ready to rock and roll? If you're ready to rock and roll, let me know. I don't know if I have a good connection. Okay, there you are. I, I, addiction to food, emotional eater. For my little thing. Okay, <clears throat> bikini challenge, but did not lose weight. Okay, remember, bikini challenge is not about weight loss, okay? If you're in the bikini challenge, you just want to look as, as toned as possible. This got me disappointed. Deprivation, then binge. Okay, <clears throat> there's three things that I want to show you today that, that are going to help you. One of the biggest reasons why people lose motivation, and we all go through this, by the way, okay? Don't think that the staff and myself are like <clears throat> fired up every single day of the year. We all go through ups and downs. Now, it's your job to make sure that you're fired up most of the time because you can't just hope to be motivated, okay? You can't just hope. You got to get yourself focused. You got to get yourself in that state that you're going to make something happen, okay? You can't just hope. You can't just wait for things to happen on their self. You know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And one of the reasons that I see most people get unmotivated or that is very common, this is like the common denominator when people lose motivation is <clears throat> <coughs> most of the times because their goals suck. Even Now, this is assuming that goals exist because most people don't even set goals. They're just like, oh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can lose some weight. Well, yeah, I'm really motivated about that. No one gets motivated for that, you know? You got to have a specific goal and don't do realistic goals. Trust me, I know what society tells you that's bullshit. Oh, you don't want to be disappointed. Set up a realistic goal, something achievable. You don't want to fail. You know what? Fuck that. Those people are telling you that because they're giving up on their goals. They've given up and <clears throat> they're just naysayers. It's average people. You have to set goals that are unreasonable. You got to be unreasonable if you want to go to the next level. Let me tell you why. Because if your goal is to lose five pounds, what kind of action, what kind of fire are you going to bring? Five pound type of action, which is bullshit. You're not going to get anywhere. You need to set a huge goal. What if your goal is, well, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. To get 100 pounds, your actions are going to be a total different. It's just... It, it, it's a whole different mindset when you're thinking 100 pounds, 50 pounds, 40 pounds, as opposed to, well, let me see if I can lose three pounds here and there, you know? So you got to have specific goals that are not reasonable. Everybody's going to look at you weird. They're going to tell you, hey, you know what? You're dreaming too much. I don't want you to be disappointed. Don't listen to them. You keep going. Be unreasonable because only unreasonable goals are going to get you to take unreasonable action which is what is going to give you unreasonable results. 
That this, I mean, it's as simple as that. It's kind of stupid that it's that simple. There's no magic. There's no magic. You just have to go and 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 think bigger. Think massive. Don't think little goals. Okay, that's what average people do. You and I both know that you're better than that. If you're watching this is because you're not average. You want to get better. Average people are not watching this type of things. They're not even, you know, they're just complaining and bitching about about their situation and hoping that. They win the Powerball, hoping that they get a, a nice body. You know, it doesn't work that way. So goals is number one. Definitely unreasonable. And another thing is your goals. Here's the test. Here's how you know if your goal is good enough for you to get you fired up and keep you motivated. Okay. When you set your goal and you know that it's specific and it's something you can measure, Here's what's going to happen. If you are having to push through to get closer to that goal, it's not compelling enough. You got to set your goals to the point that you don't have to push through. You don't have to kind of pump yourself up and motivate yourself. You got to have a a goal so compelling that it pulls you. You're not trying to push and motivate and no, the goal is so compelling. You see it's so compelling being there, achieving it, that you want to do it. You know, the goal pulls you out of bed when you want to snooze. The goal pulls you out of that junk uh, food place. It makes you strong after you see the temptations. It has to be compelling. Make it as compelling. Visualize it. Don't just say, I'm going to lose some weight. Even if you come up with something specific, if you say, well, I'm 67 pounds overweight, I'm going to lose 67 pounds. Is it compelling? Well, it is kind of compelling, but how can you make it even better? Get your kids involved in it. Think about how 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 good of a role model I'm going to be. How good I'm going to perform at, at work, the, the energy, the confidence I'm going to have. I'm going to be healthier. People are going to respect me. I'm going to have confidence in myself. I'm going to believe in myself once again. You know, make it as compelling as possible. And here's the thing. You got to think about those goals every day because, hey, guess what? Even if you have a super compelling goal, if you're if you're not if your focus is not there every day, you you're going to forget and then you're going to go back to the same old thing, your habits, your routines, the things you've been doing for years. OK, so compelling, specific and compelling, something that it pulls you. You don't have to force yourself to do anything, something that makes you, oh, man, I want to do this. Hell yeah. Not like, oh, fuck, I got to go to the gym and diet today again. I wish I could eat a burger. If you're there, your goals are not compelling enough. Your goals are too reasonable. Your goals are average. Am I making sense? So that's, that's one. Be ready for a lifestyle change. The other thing could be, and sometimes it's a combination, that you're lacking motivation Yes, exactly what Olga is saying. Don't look at the small picture. Instead, look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Don't get stuck in the day-by-day, you know, obstacles. Look at the bigger picture. Um, another thing has a lot to do with who you're hanging out with. If you're hanging out with people that are, na- you know, negative Nancys, naysayers, average, that they just do... The least they could do to get by, to be okay, to be comfortable, you know who I'm talking who I'm talking about, right? Those people that tell you, "Oh, come on, one bite's not gonna hurt you. Skip the gym today. You've been training too hard. You need to take it easy. You need to enjoy life too." You know what I'm talking about, right? That people is not well. I stopped going out since my friends want me to drink. Um, those are the people that are gonna drain all your motivation. Because guess what? If you have step one that is the huge goal, compelling, specific, and you're thinking about it every day and you're hungry and you want to achieve it. But if the people you surround yourself with are against that or they're not even doing anything related to that or anything to better themselves, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Trust me. It's not going to work. Let me ask you something. We all know basketball, right? If just say you wanted to get better at basketball, how are you going to get better at basketball? Playing with fifth graders? Playing with people at your same level, kind of like the same place where you're at? Or playing with people that are better than you? 
they're at ahead of the they're at ahead of the game. They're playing the the game at a higher level. I mean, it's a stupid question. The the answer is obvious. You if you want to get better, you got to hang out, surround yourself and rub shoulders with the people that are playing the game at a different at a higher level. Okay? It's it's so simple, but if you keep surrounding yourself with the same average people, guess what? You're not going to get there. There's a saying, there's a quote, I don't know who who said this, but they say that you are the average of the five people you hang out the most with. Who you hang out with is who you become. I need new friends. Hey, you know what? That's why I lost all my friends. I let them in the past because I didn't want to be where I was and where they wanted to stay. I I mean, I I turned my life completely around, lost all my friends from, you know, from years, from all my life because I, I, I wasn't happy there, you know, and... I, I've, I've always wanted to do better, so I have to, I have to do that. I truly believe our rot dam is our new friends. Yes, Dan. I just need friends. So, uh... See, get get on. Surround yourself with people that are better, or that are doing what you want to do. Be where you want to be. Or even if they're not there yet, if uh, if they're at your same level, but hang out with people that have the same goals, that are going after the same things. You might have friends that are overweight too, but it's very different having friends hanging out that people that are overweight and don't want to do shit about it, as opposed to hanging out with people that are overweight and are, and are fed up, sick and tired of it, and they're, red, red, they're willing to do whatever it takes, they're working out, they're eating healthy. Now that's going to help you. That's what you want to do. What else you got for me? Where, where are you struggling at so I can help you? I mean, here on Facebook, some of you are saying there's just up and down. Sometimes you're fired up. Sometimes you're not. Hey, you want to know the good news? You're human. We'll go through that. Just get the, the compelling goal. Keep it in your head. Write it down every day. Put reminders wherever you can see them in your car. Post-it notes in your fridge and your phone, uh, your phone background. Everywhere, everywhere. Um, one of the things that I see because I know we were talking. You were. Uh, I saw haters on the comments. You were talking about haters and all that stuff. And. One of the things I hear a lot, and actually someone commented here on Facebook is, I struggle on the weekend because my family's not on board with the weight loss. Well, sad but true, right? But the thing is, you cannot, you cannot expect other people to believe and support your goals. It will be nice. But it's sad. It's not how it's gonna be, and you can't expect them to support you and believe in those goals, because guess what? They're your goals, not theirs. You are the only one that needs to stay hungry, motivated, and fired up, and focus on that goal, because it's your goal. It's not your wife's goal. It's not your husband's goal. It's not your kid's goal. It's not your coworker's goal. It's not your neighbor's goal. It's yours. It's your goal, it's your dream, it's your life, it's your body, it's your health. You are the only person that needs to believe in it. If someone else doesn't like it, fuck that, fuck them, you know? You're still going to love them, they're still close to you, but hey, don't stop because of that. Don't stop because of that, because it's your goal. You are the only person that needs to work on them, you are the only person that needs to believe in them. And then, yes, if down the road someone can support you, even better. But don't, don't, don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Let's see what else we got. I'm, I'm looking at the Facebook comments, but if you, if you have anything that, I, that you want me to go over or answer questions, co comment uh, right here, okay? I don't have problems following the plan. I like that. Then what's your problem? And, and you know, it's not just the plan. It's not just the eating plan. Most people think, oh, well, the diet is 80% of it. That's garbage. You, you still got to work your ass off at the, in the gym. So when you go and work out, you can't just walk in the gym and 
expect to have a good workout, go through the motions and just wait for, for the trainers to tell you what to do or, or see what workout you're going to do that day. When you walk in, before you get down of your car, before you walk in the facility, I need you to get your purpose in your head. I need you to think about the goal. You, you know, you don't just go to the gym just to sweat and shake your booty. You're there for a reason. What is that reason? Because I bet you anything, most of the time while you're going through the workout, while you're struggling, while you're going through the pain, you're, you're not even thinking about what you're doing there. You're just stuck in that moment, thinking about the pain, thinking about like, oh man, I'm so out of breath, I'm so fat, I'm so tired, when is it going to be over? You need to be thinking about where you're going. Okay, when you're driving, you're not looking inside the car, you're not looking at the rear view mirror, you're looking forward, you're looking to where you're going. It's the same thing you got to do when you work out. Walk in the gym, thinking about your goal, thinking about how bad you want it, how compelling it is, and how fed up you are of... Uh, of where you are in life. Because if you don't walk in with a, pur a purpose, your workout's going to be, you know, okay or crappy or, you know, whatever. It's not going to be anything unbelievable that is going to get you the great results. Regardless of the routine you do, regardless of where do, you, where do you work out, regardless of who's training you, you are responsible to make it happen. Only you can do the exercises. Only you can do the diet. Only you can drink the water. Nobody else. That's right. If you're not super sore, you're not giving it your all. I feel like kicking ass. Hell yeah. That's how you should feel every day. If you have a badass goal that's compelling, you should not be struggling with motivation. If you hang out with the right people, you should not be struggling with motivation. You should feel like kicking ass every damn day. Every day. And when you're getting down and you're losing it, guess what you do? You go back to the goals. Don't forget it. That's what happens. Most people forget it. They get stuck on the obstacles of what they're going through at that moment. And they lose sight of the, you, the, you, you got to keep your eyes on the price. Whether you're feeling good, whether you're feeling like shit, doesn't matter. Your goals don't change. You got to have the drive every day. I love daily muscle soreness. Who's that, Jasmine? Welcome to the club. I, I love it too. I actually feel weird if I'm not sore. I've been sore for almost 12 years. Let me, let me show you something real quick. Give me one second here. You can chat chat amongst yourself in the meantime. I'm just gonna draw something real quick on the board. And my marker is not working. <laughs> I'll show you that on a, on another on another time. What time is it? All right, guys. If there's any more questions, ask him now. If not, I'm gonna get back to work. Got a lot of things to do and catch up, but I'm here to answer your questions. If you have anything that I can help you with, water, water, snacks. Uh, can I explain muscle failure? What do you mean by that? What exactly do you want to know about it? I lost 40, 42 pounds at Raw over October, December, gaining it back. Congratulations. What do you mean you gain it back? You gain everything back? What happened? It either had to do with the people you surround yourself every day, people in your life. It either had to do with you forgot about the compelling goal. Something like that. So you know what to do to get back on track now. I did. Family holidays got depressed. Yep. Keep your. You gotta get a compelling goal. Make it super compelling.
What? That, I don't... Um, do me a favor. If you ask a question, comment again. Because more people were commenting and I, and I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to read it. Diana. Shout out to the six week challengers. Shout out to the veterans. This is not about a six week thing. Fitness is a lifestyle. Shout out to those who have been at Raw for a longer time than a damn challenge. The challenge is the appetizer. It's not the real deal. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting bad signal or anything. Or if you're commenting or not. I see some comments and then they go away. Do me a favor. If you have more questions or anything you want me to go over. Post them on Facebook. Okay. And then I'll go over that as soon as I have a chance to get back. All right. Get fired up. Get a compelling goal and make it happen. And remember, don't expect anybody else to believe in them. Because they're not theirs. It's your goal, your dream. Only you need to believe in it. Only you need to work on it. If anybody else supports you, great. If not, big deal. Talk to you soon.